First of all, I don't insist on anything or control anything. That's all part of the disease as far as I'm concerned. We really believe in the evidence-based. Um, I know for me and for my family, I want doctors making medical decisions. I'm gonna pick Dr. So-and-so MD from University of Chicago or Northwestern to manage my medicine and not a lawmaker. So we stick with the National Academies of Sciences um, who's, who've done probably the most comprehensive review on scientific evidence for the use of marijuana in treating medical problems. And there are two areas that have been shown in randomized double-blind trials um, to be benefited from marijuana or marijuana uh, metabolites, and that would be chronic pain and also chemo-induced uh, nausea and vomiting. So if a person had um, one of those two things and didn't have a co-occurring disorder that marijuana could make worse, whether that's a mood or anxiety disorder or a substance use disorder, um, that may be a scenario where it would make sense. But short of that, I haven't really um, been uh, presented with from intake a person for whom it would make sense to be on medical marijuana. Post-traumatic stress disorder, um, that would interfere with a person's capacity to really recover from PTSD. There's no med sound medical evidence that marijuana improves long-term outcomes of PTSD. If there were, uh, we'd probably have a different philosophy. What we're treating is the underlying, the brain disorder. And addiction is a brain disease that's, one of the things char that characterizes it is dopamine spikes in certain areas of the brain. And there are certain medications that can um, make, create dopamine spikes, certain foods for certain people, certain behaviors for certain people. If you're a person with a disease of addiction, that's gonna destabilize you. Um, so if you have a co-occurring disorder that may need a medication for it, we're gonna to wanna to try adequate trials for ad adequate lengths of time um, before using a medication that could potentially harm you with an illness that's potentially fatal, which is addiction.